happening here? Who is making that abominable noise? Sorry, monsieur, we have struck a child, I believe. The child, monsieur the Marquis, is dead. The coach struck him. This man is the father. Really, it is extraordinary to me that you people cannot take care of yourselves. Or your children. Always in the way. How do I know what injury you may have done to my horses? Here, give him that. Be brave, Gaspar. It is better for the poor little one to die so than to live in times such as these. He died quickly, without pain. Could you have lived an hour as happily? Oh, you are a philosopher, monsieur. How do they call you? Defarge. Of what trade? The vendor of wine. That is my shop. Well, philosopher and vendor of wine. Pick up that and spend it as you will. Move on. Walk on. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. It was the epoch of belief. It was the epoch of incredulity. It was the season of light. It was the season of darkness. It was the spring of hope. It was the winter of despair. Sir, I am Jarvis Lorry of Tilson's Bank. I am looking for a young lady, Miss Lucy Minette. Can you tell me where? There, sir. I beg your pardon? There, sir. Directly behind you. Taking tea with her companion. <clears throat> Miss Lucy? Mr. Lorry. Won't, won't you sit down? Thank you. Um, you know Miss Pross, don't you? Oh, pleasure, ma'am, as always. Mm. Uh. What is this all about, Mr. Lorry? The letter said it was of the utmost importance. Quite true. Although I must confess it's such an astounding revelation that I... Indeed, I hardly know how to tell you. Is it something so dreadful? On the contrary, it's wonderful news. You were too young to remember, of course, your father being thrown into prison. At that time, any French nobleman could imprison any French citizen with no questions asked. Does this concern my father's estate? No, not his estate. He left you enough to live comfortably, as we both know. Uh, oh, Miss Lucy. Courage, Mr. Lorry. Your father, my dear child, your father has been found. What? Alive. He was left to die in prison. He did not die. Where is he? He's been taken to the house of an old servant of his in Paris, a man by the name of Defarge. It is in this house, above a wine shop, that we can find him. Will you be able to leave with me on the packet boat tomorrow? Oh, oh Miss Lucy. Good heavens, man. Look what you've done. Did you have to frighten the child to death? What sort of a banker are you? Uh, Fetch the vinegar.
was an accident. Did you hear me? Yeah, here. Monsieur Lolly? Indeed. The lodging you wish to see is on the second floor, if uh, you will come with me. Alone? Alone? God help him, sir. Who should be with him? Is the door locked? Always. Why? Why? Because he's lived so long locked up alone in prison that he would rave and tear himself to pieces if this door were left open. Doctor? Good day, Dr. Manet. Still hard at work, I see. Yes, I am working. May I uh, let in a little more light, Doctor? Uh. Doctor, you have visitors. What? What is, what is that? There is someone here to see you. Tell this gentleman what kind of shoes you make. The shoes? Can you describe the shoes for this gentleman? They are ladies' shoes. And the maker's name? Name? You ask my name? Yes. One hundred and five North Tower. Sir, do you not remember me? The jailer's daughter. No. Who are you? I don't. What? Do you see? It is the same. How can this be? It was so long ago when they came to take me away. We held each other, my little girl. She was in my arms. Then when I arrived at the prison, I found these on my sleeve and I've... I've kept them ever since. How is this? Was it you? Not be. We've come to take you away with us. We've come to help you. Please trust us, my dear. Please trust me. 
Oh, my dear, please trust me. Thank God I found you. I found you again. My tools. What? What's that? He wants his tools to make the shoes. Oh. Come on with Doctor. I shall be right back. Shall we, Doctor? What is that? Some writings of his. A diary, perhaps. I'll put it in with his tools. No. Give it to me. We shall keep it here. Why? To read, you fool. Godspeed. To the barrier. Excuse me, Monseigneur, but your nephew is here to see you. Well, what do you want? Think quick about it, I'm busy. 